Captain Russell for steering us into these cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrive to help crew the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us through to Saint Anne. To reach Parrot Paradise, we must first know the way. Yeah, a logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the sail. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Even faster. Trim the sails. Captain Rassler, the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog, but also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters, like the filthy built rat you are. What good are your foolhardy ways, if they have left us stranded upon these shallows? You wish to reach St. Anne? Of course you do. And so do the rest of this drunken lot, sprawled upon their asses. But if we return to the kingpin empty-handed, he will surely strip us of our titles, if he does not first strip us of our skin. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then, Will I divulge the way to Pirate Paradise? Good. Now make haste.
wouldn't trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. Those corpses, we might have to search them. My hands are shaking! That was close! Good work. I think we have enough. the way to St. Anne. Get me Skellock's cargo. Thanks for the goods. Skellock may well spare my head, but I cannot say the same for you. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. <laughs> Find your own way to St. Anne, chum sniffer. <laughs> I don't owe you a sliver up your ass. Especially when mine's on the line. Why don't you ask Captain Rassler? His bloated corpse might know the way. Now fuck off, Bilt Rat! <laughs> A little weasel to the very end. If the bastard says Wrestler might have the map to St. Anne, we should search his wreck. St. Anne's horizon might hold the sunrise I've been yearning for. Better hope the pirates don't stab you in the back first.
Luck indeed. You found a way to Saint Anne and a letter bearing Skurlock's mark. The Kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or John Skurlock will have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your corpse from the sea, friend. Wrestler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain, is it? As long as you don't tear us into the blasted rocks. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Hmm, I think I might even stick around for a while. Imagine what else we could accomplish together, Captain. We could build a strong fleet and crush our enemies, conquer any threat. We could defy the gods themselves. Onwards to Saint Anne, Captain. Magway! Paradise! <laughs> Ah, smell that salt, spice, and sin, Captain. The Indian Ocean holds many secrets and mysteries. The smuggling den of St. Anne is one of its hidden gems. Whatever a pirate needs, this place has it in stock. St. Anne is where we turn our luck into fortune, friend. Skurlock can get us started. That letter is proof your pirate worth a lick of salt. Hey, don't look at me. You're the best pirate to win Skurlock over. Me? Ah, yeah. I had my shot in the past. We don't need Skurlock's loyalty to gain infamy and influence. Only his connections. A proper ship would be a start. Unless you want to keep cozying up on your Dao. I'll stay by the ship while you tread shore. Pay no mind to the bottom feeders, Captain. Remember, we answer only to the winds of fate. <laughs> this 
one isn't gonna make it. The little twig will snap within days. Days? That carcass is just about falling apart. And reeks of wildness. Washed up on our decks. Sailing the pirate ground. This one here survived the wreck. Sure looks like it. A survivor? Come on in, Callie. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again. You useless kids. British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo, but shut you out. Hope you're not worthless. I really needed those goods. You see, this port rises on Julian's patronage. And that merchant's so rich in pieces liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker! Wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods, and his demands triple. I'll need more captains. A proper pirate, I see. <laughs> well, you need a keen eye for prizes. And a lot. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed up in. It's halfway to Flotsam. You got spirits, but you're not ready yet. If you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship, then build your reputation and earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. Do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. Now off you go. We'll see each other soon. So you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skerlock may see potential in you, but all I see is a would-be pirate with salt in their breeches. Tell me, what does the pirate king see in someone as ragged as yourself? Ha! And why would others sail with a captaini with one leaky boat to their name? But if you prove your worth, even the waves will bend to your will. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skellock's warm embrace. Ha! Saint Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skellock with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. 
A pirate steers their own ship. But how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials. Take good care of your ship. Ujambo, you have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To have a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. You are eager. I like it. But be careful. The blood you spill is not your own. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way, both our names will grow. The best lumber is Iroko. Maybe we can do business again. VP, do you need more from me? Asante, see you then. You got a bigger ship ready, Captain. I don't want to have to haul you from the sea again. We've been blessed with a tailwind! I'll wager the fat merchant men have the goods we want!
for all these little skips, aren't you? What the fuck you mean he wrecked his ship in the water? If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen The sea people have given me shelter since I was a boy, so I bleed my hands. <laughs> your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Speak to Thomas the blacksmith next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next companion boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead. I normally wouldn't give a nobody like you the steam off my piss on a good day. But I saw your ship's got nothing sticking out of her gum ports. Hungry little gubby, aren't you? Be careful you don't nibble on company, bait. They'll gut you from stern to bow. The extra crash has left us short on supplies. The company knows this, so they're squeezing us tighter. Bring me supplies and I'll build you weapons to skewer those frogs. Before you can take a bite out of the company, you'll need to have teeth. Right now, you're toothless. You need provisions. You'll have to get them yourself. Now, get cracking, mate. People don't know me, and that's the way on. Don't go drowning in a mud puddle. How fair is your day, pirate? Even the sea would have give you a wave. How fair is your day, pirate? So, you got your decks scrubbed, cannons swabbed, and your loins girded. Good. It's time you rumbled with the company ships. The cocky pricks keep helping themselves to my iron. Blast them to bits.
grab your spyglass so we can identify those French creatures. Everyone on deck! Here one 
takes. Thank fuck for that. If metal work is what you need, my anvil's ready. Those frogs barely put up a fight, eh? You did good, mate. Tales of your victory grow taller with every talon. Now you've impressed the other parts in St. Anne. They're looking to deal with you. I've also got more jobs if you're up to it. This next job will be brutal, but pull through and even Skurlock shall hear of it. See? Companion warships carry rare parts that I would pay well for. Sing the ships and the sea will swallow those parts. You'll need to board the ships. Captain, the wind is at our back! 